In this problem, we have a good guitar string that has a length of 32 centimeters, a mass of 5 grams, and a tension of 151 newtons. And what we're, want, we're asked to find is the fundamental frequency and the first, second, and third harmonics. Now, the fundamental frequency is actually the first harmonic, so that's one. Th that's only one thing right there. And then the second and third harmonics we also have to find. Now, if the guitar string, string is vibrating, we get a node antinode like this. This is our standing wave pattern setup. Okay, this is the fundamental frequency where this is the start, this is the stop. So that's F1, which is the fundamental frequency and the first harmonic. The next is that. This is our second harmonic where we have two standing waves set up. Obviously, we know what our third harmonic is going to look like. It's going to have three standing waves set up. So there's our three standing waves. Now, there's a simple formula to figure out the frequency of each of these, uh, given this information. We have Fn, where n is the mode, or the, the harmonic, of the system. So frequency of the mode is equal to the mode n times velocity over 2L. Now this is the velocity of the wave. So the velocity of the wave and length is the, sorry that's not right, that is, yeah, no, that's right, V over 2L. So now this comes out um, it's easy to actually derive this. If we look at this, we can see this is like half a wavelength. If we kept going, that would be a full wave wavelength, right? And this is actually a full wavelength, this one. Now, we know that velocity equals frequency times wavelength. V equals F lambda. So what we have here is to, to derive this, we just F equals V over wavelength. Right? And this is what we have here, because in this case, 1, if we put in 1 for the n, we have v over 2l, f equals v over 2l. Wavelength of this is just 2 times the length. In this case, we'd, have, we'd put in 2, so if we put in 2 here, we'd have 2, 2, so the f2 is equal to 2, these 2's would cancel, we have v over l, v over l. This, this whole length is one wavelength, so we can see that that works out there. So that's just a show of how we get this formula that you're going to have to use in standing wave patterns. So we have, we're asked to find what the fundamental frequency is um, and the first, second, and third harmonics. So fundamental frequency and first harmonics are the same. Now what we don't know is the velocity in here, but we can figure that out by the length, the mass, and the tension. We know that, I'll write this one down again. So sometimes they'll give you this value as um, a certain amount of kilograms per meter. Um, in this case, we're just given the mass and the length, so we have to compute it ourselves. So this V, the velocity, is the force, which is this tension here, mass, and the length. So we can plug those in here to get our velocity of the wave, and then we can plug that in here. So let's put in... N, V is root F over M over L, all divided by 2L. So if now we plug in what we know, for the first one, F1, N is 1. So we take the square root F, which is 151 newtons. divided by the mass, which is 5.00 grams, divided by the length of 32.0 centimeters, 
And these are actually going to have to be put in kilograms and meters. So we're going to put 5.00 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms divided by 0.32 meters. All divided by 2 times the length of 0.32 meters. Okay, so we plug that into our calculator, basically divide these two and then divide that into 151 newtons, take the square root, divide by this. Uh, newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. So this meter goes to the top to a kilogram meter squared per second squared. Kilograms cancel, meter squared per second squared. Take the square root meters per second. This meter cancels with the top meter. We're left with one over seconds, which is hertz. Multiply all this stuff through, we get 153.6 hertz. That is the frequency, F1, the fundamental frequency, and the first harmonic. Now, F2 is just twice that. We just basically multiply all this stuff by 2 now. And we can see this is 1, this is 2, and this is going to be 3 times the original. So all we have to do to figure out F2 is 2 times F1. 2 times 153 hertz, which is 307. 0 hertz, and F3 is also 3 times F1, 3 times 153.6 hertz, which gives us 460.8. Okay, um, now we have three significant digits, so that's all we put for our answer. Get to three significant 154 hertz. Three hundred and seven hertz, F three is four hundred and sixty one hertz. That is our final answer.